Hello everybody and welcome to the first, the next episode of Secret of Mine. In the last episode we got Flamey, in this episode we're going to do some side quests, but firstly, we've got a whip orb. Please. That turns Flail of Hope into Morning Star, which is good against insects and uh, plants. So to get our first side quest out of the way, it will involve getting the Moogle Belt, which, um... ...involves finding a small island. to find because it's so small and it's easy to overlook. I can find it immediately, and other times I, I can't. continue on anyway, and I'll do it later at some point. Since we have to get another item as well, and I do not quite remember right now where that is. So starting off, we have to go find Sage Jock. Now he's at the top of this mountain, but I will not be going to the top of the mountain quite yet. Um, there is an armor store in here that you would really need to buy some armor for before you get over there. But, um, yeah. Alright, that's the end. This is the shop. Now, we might not be able to buy the armor here because I remember being very expensive. Yeah, 11,000. Probably can't afford it. For these guys. I'll throw your bees for everybody. Now this is the point where I would suggest, because there's gonna be a difficulty curve coming up really strong soon, I would highly suggest that if you want to have like a non-difficult run, I would highly suggest um I would highly suggest going and killing every monster you see, like I've said. Because you're gonna get to a point where, um, in the game, you're gonna get to a point where there's a sudden difficulty curve, and I've seen a lot of people. Ah, crap. Well. That was an accident and a half. never had to delete an item like that before, but that was an accident that I really wish I hadn't made. Luckily, our armor pays for it. I was gonna sell it anyway, but... Yikes. Anyway. Yes, there is a sudden difficulty curve that I hear a lot when I hear people talking about this game that they hate and which was never in this game. Uh, so just prepare yourself for that. And 
Um, keep in mind that, oops, there is a difficulty curve, um, like I said, so, as long as you kill every enemy you see and don't sweat the small stuff, because every enemy you kill will go up to your XP, It'll, which all in all makes everything pretty worthwhile in the end, um, you should get Especially now at this point, because our orbs are so, uh, high level now that um, it would really be worth your while to try to level those up as soon as you can, or figure out what item or what weapon is your favorite to use. This is the time for that. Because eventually in the game, when you start getting up to level 7 orbs, it's gonna take you a long time to level a weapon, so you're gonna really need to focus on whatever weapon you really like at this point. It's gonna start getting really freaking hard to level, like I said. Now that my sword has level 2, 5, I'm gonna switch to the gloves. Yeah, I'm level 4 on it. Though the one thing I will say that does annoy me a little bit in this game as far as leveling goes is the magic. Magic how it works, you get a crit bonus to your XP stat if you attack in an enemy zone or use your magic in an enemy zone. Um, bonus magic points if you kill all the enemy with magic, that, stuff like that. But, the problem is that, um, leveling the magic stat is freaking impossible. I have done this, though, I have leveled every single magic stat to level 8. And let me tell you something, it's not worth it. Um... That is one thing I will say in this game. I would suggest leveling whatever element is your favorite. And sticking with it, because... Um... Like I said, magic is a doozy. It, and I'm not... I guess I'm talking more about Opal's magic than Aster's, because... Aster's magic is a lot easier to level because he has to use it in enemy zones. And not only that, um... He, uh... His magic does a lot of damage, so you'll be killing the enemies rather quickly, so you can just go in and out of an area. Super fast, level super fast, but with Opal, she's another story, and a lot of her abilities can't be used on enemies, and... They're recovery types, so you would have to use them on allies in the middle of the enemy zone to try to get any bonus of XP, but... Um... At the cost of that would be a lot of time, because... Like I said, uh, her magic does not level nearly as fast as Aster's. Aster's you could probably level up a lot of his magic in a day, but again, it's, it's, not, it's not worth it. Um, even for Aster, who levels it up super freaking fast. In comparison to Opal. It's just not worth it, in my opinion. Also, don't let these things grow into adulthood, or they will turn you to stone. But, um, yeah, like I said, the. Uh, Keep these few things in mind when going through the game that if you want to level a magic item, go ahead. But I highly suggest leveling up whatever is your favorite first. And with that, we've made it to save John's place. I prefer, by the way, speaking of uh, Psychic Nets, Sewer, Corrals, Amanas, Magic, compared to this game. 
because you do not have to level it. You level up your stats instead, and, um, the original and the remake, so. Go away, the sage is out! What? Hey, Jock went to the Palace of Darkness. You saw it on the way here. Okay, buddy. You're totally not sus and all, being the only non-human NPC we can talk to. Now, unless you really wanted to, you could walk all the way down and back to the Palace of Darkness. Which I probably would if I wasn't recording, but since I'm recording, I'm probably going to just use Flamey to fly back to that spot. And I'm probably gonna have to cure petrification in my land. I always get Trials of Mana and Secret of Mana mixed up when it comes to petrification time, whether it's forever or temporary. Also, you'll find as you get more magic, it is a lot easier to level. Um, we are sitting pretty at 26 magic right now. You'll probably end up at finishing the game by 50 magic. That's just usually what I average at. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. So, fierce heads. If I'm not mistaken, they can drop a weapon or or their cousins do. Maybe be sure to kill these guys whenever you can. And wait for them to drop. If they don't drop anything, just move on. So, Shades Palace. This can be... The boss of this area is, um... Can be a little tough for some people. With the aim for the, uh, hitbox on it, but I'll try to beat it with, uh, just regular physical attacks so you guys can see what it's like to do that, um, since I have done that for the boss quite a few times. So let me know if, um, any of you want me to play Trials of Mana, because that is my favorite of the series, by far. It's got the best music, the best... pretty much everything. It's still my favorite game, even today. Alrighty, now let's check my... Well, I guess I can probably use the axe for now. Three, that's not too bad. We've got some ember men over here. Darn, I was hoping that would help. Also, as you can tell, uh, Levi's dog rate is insane at the current moment. It probably has the highest dog rate out of all the characters. And then next would be, you know, of course, Opal, and then next after that would be or someone with other character left, but yeah. As I can just sit here and not take damage. Eventually, the only thing you really have to worry about with Levi's character is uh, the magic attacks because he cannot dodge those. For the most part, there are some attacks that can be dodged that are magic type, but not all. I'll reach level 35. Pretty good, that's one of the first uh, even level ups I've had. You can drop anything, buddy? Nope. This dungeon can be a little confusing because it's a lot of back and forth through the same area over and over again. But you can do it. I do have a least favorite dungeon in this game, but I do not believe we have come across it yet. Uh, we'll get to that when we get to it. That's gonna be a doozy. Random chest. 
What does it contain? How's it go? These guys are super weird defensively, but I guess it's understandable considering... Um, the fact that they have a wall. You just can't get some that, so... Actually move. Because we're out of time here. In this episode, we managed to get into the Shadow House and found out that Sage Yuck is not where he said he was. On the next episode, we're gonna beat the Shadow Palace and see if we can find out if Shade's Jock really is here or not. See you guys then.